a lot of what we do is basically inspired by what microbes are capable of doing. One way to think of microbes is that there are these amazing factories that basically catalyze all sorts of reactions in order to meet their own energy demands. For a long time, we knew that certain organisms, like Schuonella, the organism that's sort of the model system in my lab, for a long time, we've known that Schuonella can move electrons from its cell, basically, to, to other surfaces, to external solid surfaces. And then a few years ago, there was this dramatic discovery that cells also might be able to basically build wires to the surfaces that they breathe. The idea being that they can produce these hair-like appendages, basically out of their cell bodies. So here's an example of a single uh, cell of Schuonella on Idensis MR1. So this is this uh, uh, white uh, cell right here. And the hair-like things that you see coming out of it, each one of those is uh, an example of a bacterial nanowire. Even though there was a lot of evidence that these bacterial nanowires are involved in extracellular electron transport, basically in moving electrons from the cell to the surface, uh, there was really no direct evidence for it. So what we did specifically in our recent paper is we've used a lot of the tools of nanotechnology to be able to probe electron transport specifically along individual bacterial nanowires. So what we're looking at is uh, a single uh, Schoenella onidensis MR1 cell and we're looking at a bacterial nanowire that is secreted by that cell. And what we did was we directly wrote uh, platinum electrodes. So these are these metal bars that you're looking at here, directly writing electrodes along a single filament that's, being, uh, that's secreted by a single cell. And then measured the electron transport directly that way, which is finally conclusive proof that these bacterial nanowires do in fact act as conductive appendages.